idea of could Nebraska or some of these other schools that are, you know, infuriated with this decision, can they leave the Big Ten for a season? Can they go independent? Can they go rogue? Can they try and schedule however they they want to for one year? And everything that I have heard so far is the answer is more than likely no. All of their television rights, any home game, whatever, would have to be done through the Big Ten. I don't think it's going to happen. Now, I don't expect any Pac-12 team to go rogue. However, Nebraska, Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State, that's, it's, it's possible. On. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all about home television rights. If they play neutral site football games or road games, they absolutely can. It, but that's if they only do that. Now, are they going okay. to be comfortable with doing that? So Why would they not? They don't have fans in the stands anyway. As yeah. long as they're playing on a neutral field or an away field that, that there's no fans, they don't care. Why would you care? Well, because at that point, your, your school is not bringing in any money. Like it, so, they're gonna still get a television deal. They're still gonna get some money. Well, yeah, if that's, they have that's to, a valid. If they point. have to play some. If somebody allows them to come into their network to play a season, to be a part of whatever they are, then then they would get a share of whatever revenue comes through there. They just don't get to play at home. Or ever. if yeah, if they go play in Indianapolis at the RCA yeah. Dome or whatever it's called now, the whatever Lucas deal they Oil. can make. Yeah. So sure. Yeah. Do you want to play or not? Now here's the thing: if you're the SEC. What benefit? Why would you want to split the pie fifteen ways or sixteen ways? Why would you let these other schools in? Oh, there's the only way that you would do that is if you talk to your network and got a bigger deal. If you, yeah, if you oh no, you'd have to get, deal. you'd have yeah. to get, and not not a little bit. It would have to be making sure if we all make fifty million dollars off of this deal, will you give us fifty more them, for adding? Ohio I don't care State. what you pay them, but our fifty still gets our fifty. Yeah, I I think I think that's feasible. Now I don't know how quickly they can get it put together in time for. Oh a season. no, that's that that could be done literally overnight. And you overnight, might be right. that's not a hard negotiation to make. It is depend because you're hold one side's holding all the cards and the other side's desperate. Uh, okay. The Brown Yeti jumps in and said the SEC is thinking of all the eyeballs watching their games if they are the only ones playing. Hey, you have got. I don't this, know that they're threatened by by bringing somebody else in. No, they're no, just no, no. Not I don't. I don't share the money with them. I don't think he's talking about that at all. I think he's talking about the idea that if there are no other conferences playing. Uh, I mean, they could be putting up NFL type numbers. Like, it, yes. it will be massive. No, massive they'll, own, draw. they'll own Saturday, just like the NFL. They'll own Saturday, and and if they brought in four other schools to to play, you got a sixteen, you know, team conference or, or, or an eighteen, 18 team yep. conference or whatever to make a schedule. Sure, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, you you've got that right. You've got that right. I mean, this is. This is crazy stuff. The other I mean, part you can of this, bet your ass that if Penn State and and Nebraska come in, Ole Miss is going to get Penn State and Alabama is going to get Nebraska. <laughs> more, more That's the likely. only thing I'm certain of. Well, but then I would imagine you'd probably bring in Ohio State and Michigan, and then I mean, who I don't knows? know. Maybe I don't you, know that a Mich- I don't know that Michigan's coming. I, I mean, maybe they're not. But, I, mean, I that, mean, that president is 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 out on a limb. I. I well, he's wonder. an epidemiologist. I mean, it, he's he studies infectious disease. So nah, he studied. Know. He's what well, he used studied, to be. He's now a, he's now a president. This is true. He's not a working doctor anymore. This is true. This is true. Let's let's remember that. Okay, he's asked for money for the last umpteen years. Uh, ben said, "Crazy how much money can be thrown around overnight." Um, Matt Miller said, "Michigan, Ohio State, Texas, Oklahoma, Penn State, Clemson." Um, <laughs> I, I still think oh, the I ACC think, is well, I think play. Florida State would come in before a lot of those schools. Yeah, I think so, too. I, if the ACC cancels, like, I think the, I think the, the relationship that the SEC and, and Florida State already have, I think I think they would get in. I think natural rivals to SEC schools would have first option. Yeah. So I think your Clemson's, your Florida State's, if Georgia Tech wanted to, um, would, would have would have the best shot. Yeah. Now, you're, uh, you're, you're correct. And A and M um, would do anything they can to keep Texas out of it and not let Texas play football. Oh yeah. Oh, so 100%. I would bet Texas would be last on that list. I am uh, unless A and M gets Texas to share the money. I'm I'm very I'm I'm trying to keep up with everything that's going on. There's there's nothing uh, there's nothing out other than the SEC and ACC look to be pressing on and. No, the ACC is just a follower. They're going to do whatever. If if everybody else bails and SEC goes forward, the ACC might have the stones to try to do it, but I don't know. 
I mean, who, who knows? I mean, here's, here's the they, other question. They, they right? really are just just followers. Um, are players going to attempt to transfer into programs that are still playing this season? So that's and, I want. So first off, I tried to think about how I thought about that. Okay, and then then I thought. So there's two two things. How do I feel about that? How do I? What do I think of it? And then and then should it be allowed? Those are two totally different things. Okay, and then will the NCAA actually do it, which I don't think there's any way on earth the NCAA will grant any transfer at all. Okay, so at this point in time, I don't think it's going to matter because the NCAA is going to say no to all of them. But if you're – am I okay with Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence coming over, two best quarterbacks in in, in football, coming into the SEC and bouncing – some kid that has done everything right through all of this COVID, who's led his team, who's been a part of the team for two to three years, and now he's got his shot. And then some mercenary is going to come in, who, and that mercenary is well worth every bit of it. Yeah. All right? I don't know how I'd feel about that. I, I agree with you. Miles, um, Miles Brennan has done everything right at LSU. I mean, it's just my guy, okay? Yeah. Everything right. He is not close to unless something crazy happens and he looks like Joseph Burrow did last year. Everything we have seen says he is not close to what those two gentlemen are in Fields and Lawrence. It would really break my heart to say, we're just going to sell our soul to the devil and let's just go get one of these mercenaries. They've never stepped foot on our campus. They've never hated our rival. They've never loved our school, not one day in their life. And now we're going to let them don our uniform for one season and then they're going to go on off to the sunset. I don't know that I would enjoy that. I don't know that I would appreciate that. It, it would be a I'd little I'd almost strange. rather lose to them than yeah. to do that. Now, I will say this. Uh, uh, well, Ben jumps in. He said A&M versus Texas. Uh, Matt Miller said the SEC would kick A&M out for Texas. We're, uh, we're no worth chance. more than that. Uh, no man. chance. He said milkman looking cesspool in college station. No, they no, look. The no SEC chance. is loyal to A and M. Period. Like yep. they just A and M has been unbelievable to the SEC, and I assure you, Texas is the last school. A and M will be the school that decides if Texas gets to play with those or not. Yep, you are correct. You are correct about that. Um, so, with with all that you just said, I I do think that there is a place for some of these players to be able to come in, but it does feel really cheap. And it feels dirty. Yeah, it just feels dirty. Because because that because that backup offensive line, the backup offensive lineman, that starting offensive lineman that's a senior, but he's not going to go to the NFL draft. He's just not good enough to get drafted. But but he's played three years of college or two years of college, and he just wants his senior year somewhere. That guy's not getting taken. No yeah. one's letting him on campus. Yeah. No, they're only going to take the NFL-ready cream of the crop talent and it's just going to feel like hired mercenaries. And even then, you still got to figure out the scholarship situation because you you're getting ready for a season. We we no, got you a don't. season that's don't, supposed to be kicking off. You don't have to worry off. about scholarships. They got to pay for school, and somebody's going to drop a bag of cash. College ain't that expensive. Ole yeah. Miss costs what twenty three thousand a year. Somebody can find twenty three grand, hand this kid, and now he just I'm just not a scholarship athlete no more. I'm a walk on. Congratulations, I'm Justin Fields. Yeah, there you Here go. Here we go. <laughs> you. You might be right about that. You might no, be so that's right. Easy, that's the easiest thing in the world to do. You're talking about the SEC, man. You, no, you're, you're trying to how much? Yeah, you're down. What is the outside of Vanderbilt? What's the most expensive school we have? Um, I would bet it's probably Florida, but I bet even that's what at max in the 30s. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, at Vanderbilt's the most expensive. I would imagine Florida's next, and then I would I would guess A&M. that. Now I'm just guessing. Yeah, I would I would guess A and M is probably third. Anything um, under fifty grand, any of these schools can come up with that much cash in less than ten hours. Yeah, uh, Feinbaum just tweeted said ESPN investigative reporter Paula Levine tells us that multiple athletes diagnosed with myocarditis after contracting COVID nineteen has spooked college administrators, and that's what's causing all of this uh, these issues. So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and hit it on this last topic because you've only got a few minutes before you get at it. Uh, before you got to get out of here, and the last one here, 